know your enemy better than you know yourself. Every battle is a reckoning. Every battle is a mirror, revealing the brave and revealing the cowardly. Every fight a test of how much you are willing to sacrifice. For how do you defeat the one who knows you best? How do you destroy the one who lives to destroy you? How do you claim victory to end the only war you've ever known? But even wars between the greatest of enemies must end. One must stand tall over the other to claim victory. We come to it at last. The final battle. Clash versus Sterling. Last man standing. John, 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 John. Stupid, inconsequential, pointless John. A wise man once said that if you don't have enemies, you don't have character. And I agree. Because my list of enemies would show that I have the greatest character in the world. But for the last two years, my number one foil, my most prominent adversary, and my chief antagonist is you. At this point, I've been beaten, battered, thrown to the curb, and left for dead. But I realized I don't have anything to lose anymore. So I'm calling my shot like Babe Ruth. I'm coming into this match and I'm gonna pick off the faculty one by one until you have no one left to hide behind. Wasted talent, wasted potential, wasted opportunity, waste of life. I'm a better wrestler than you. I'm smarter than you. I have a better life than you. I have a better car, a better family. Frankly, I'm embarrassed to be bothered by such a trivial entity. I let my emotions get the better of me but not anymore, because I have the opportunity to put this two-year nightmare behind me permanently. You think the last year has been a nightmare? Wait till you see what life is like when I take away the one thing you care about, the one thing that makes you relevant, the Create a Pro Championship. World War II General Omar Bradley said that in war, there is no prize for runner-up, and that's all that you are, second best, second fiddle, contender but never champion, and forever doomed to walk this earth as the first loser. And to me, at Welcome to the Dungeon, you will finally become nothing but a distant memory. Maybe I will be a distant memory, but maybe there's something that will spark your mind, jog your memory, and you'll think back to the time you lost it all. Welcome to the Dungeon, Mark. Welcome to my last stand.